What's up YouTube? Welcome back to GDS Outdoors. John here. In today's video, we're adding solar to the dump trailer. Just like the car trailer has right up there. A little solar panel. And why that's kind of nice is uh, car trailer, for example, I've had it for about a year. Never had to charge the batteries and it always maintains mid 13s in voltage. And I use it often. Um, dump trailer has a battery charger built in but you got to plug it in in order for it to charge it kind of sucks in between dumps uh, put a solar panel on it you won't have to worry about it as much still got to watch the voltage but we're gonna make that solar powered so let's go all right so inside this box here located is the battery and the uh, hydraulic pump so as you can see underneath the lid here, there's no obstructions. We just need to uh, drill a hole somewhere about in this area. And we'll mount the charge controller probably right about there or so. So this should be pretty much a plug and play system. It'll hook right up to the negative and the positive on the battery. All you gotta do is just drill one hole in the lid. I've been using double-sided uh, Gorilla sticky tape on that over there and it's made it through winter summer and it's been fine it's like the 56 pound or whatever pull so use good quality gorilla double-sided sticky tape anyway so let's go over to solar panel here i picked up this kit off amazon i will attempt to remember to leave a link in the description let's take a look at it here So in the kit includes a 50 watt, I believe it is. Let's take a look. I guess it's only a 25 watt. I thought the online thing said 50. Oh well. 25 watt, 16 volt max voltage solar panel. Oh, I must have remembered another one. Yeah, it is a 25 watt kit, so no big deal. But it's got a nice flat aluminum surface for mounting uh, the tape to. And it comes with a charge controller and the plugins. So this has got that, um, oh God, I'm having a brain fart on the name of these plugs. I'll remember it later. Maybe it says it. SAE connector, that's right. SAEs on there it's all plug and play so here's your uh, charge controller real easy to uh, hook up so let's go ahead and drill a hole what we're gonna do or have to do with this is um, cut the plug off and we can strip it back and we'll solder on solder the wires back together so that we only have to drill one small hole because it should be just a uh, you can see Right there, positive, negative, brown and gray, or brown and blue, I mean. So let's go ahead and pop a hole in the front of that trailer. We'll cut this wire off here and get this thing mounted. So I popped this cover off real quick just to see, and they make this real easy. So instead of splicing the wires back together, we will just cut this off and re-solder it back onto the back side of the solar panel before we install it. So let's go ahead cut that off and then mount her up to the front.
Now let's go ahead and throw in the uh, charge controller. So I was going to mount it right there on the bulkhead there, but now that I'm thinking about it, trying to keep these wires as short as possible and as little as possible in here, I think I'm going to mount it right next to that. That way uh, it's out of the way. So let's do that. Now we can take this cord and plug it right in. If you notice on the front of the charge controller, the first one says solar panel. So let's go ahead, go ahead and hook that up. And now we can feed all of the excess outside to be trimmed. All right, so let's go ahead and get the excess trimmed. We still want to leave a little bit for maintenance purposes. We'll get this cleaned up and attached back to the solar panel. So if you remember earlier, the back side of the panel here, we got the positive and negative held in by two screws and soldered on. So we'll go ahead and heat that solder up, remove them, and attach the new ones. Now that the wires are reinstalled, let's go ahead and prep the surface add the tape and attach the panel. Once that's installed you just go ahead and hook the charge controller up to the batteries. And there's a good look the charge controller and that is how you set up solar panel on a dump trailer or pretty much any other trailer or anything that you want to hook up so as always thanks for watching jds outdoors